This demo video is for Gated Noise RT60, which is available as an in-app purchase in the Audio Tools iOS app from Studio 6 Digital. Gated Noise RT60, which we will refer to simply as RT60 in this video, is an app that measures the reverb decay time in a room using the gated noise method, which is also known as the interrupted noise or dropped noise method, as described in ISO standard 3382. RT60 works well with the internal iOS device type microphone, or pair it with our iTest mic for class 2 results, or use it with our iPrecision mic for class 1 performance. Note that it is possible to certify the entire instrument as class 1 by sending iPrecision mic and your iOS device to an independent testing lab. RT60 measures the reverb decay time by pulsing pink noise on and off and then measuring the time it takes for the sound to decay in each octave band from 63 Hz to 4000 Hz. This is known as the RT time, since it is often impractical to generate a pink noise signal that is 60 dB above the ambient noise level in the room, the standard allows us to measure a smaller dynamic range and extrapolate the RT times from this smaller dynamic range. The T30 method allows for a dynamic range of 35 dB above the noise floor. The T20 method allows 25 dB of dynamic range to be used. RT60 supports both of these options. Another requirement of the specification is averaging of tests to obtain stable results. RT60 supports that in both of the ways that the spec calls out. This includes averaging at least three trials in each test location and testing several locations in the room. Now we will look at how to perform the tests. First, select the settings for your test. These include specifying the maximum expected decay time in the room, the decay method T20 or T30, the noise samples per test to average, the test grid in rows and columns, and whether you would like the app to automatically change to the next test when a test at one location has been completed. Next, set the sound levels for your system. Tap the sign icon to turn on the pink noise generator and adjust the sound system to obtain enough dynamic range so that you'll have at least 25 dB of signal to noise for T20 or at least 35 dB for T30 in each octave band that you're interested in. You won't get results for any octave band that does not have the required dynamic range. Now let's run the test. We are using the iPhone speaker so there is no low frequency. Also, we've muted the audio. Move to the location for the first test and start the test running by tapping the play pause button. Allow the test to cycle through until they're finished running. Now move to the next location, increment the test number, and run the next test. You can use the plus and minus buttons to change the current test that is displayed. Also, you can tap the icon with the three parallel bars to bring up the tests page. This page shows you the test layout in grid form and shows completed tests in green. The currently selected test has a yellow box around it. You can change the selected test here either to view its results in the main screen, redo the test, or delete it entirely. On the test page, you can also select Show Average to see the results for the average of all completed tests. Use the cursor to see the sound level, dynamic range, and RT times for any octave band. To see just the RT times, you can turn off the RTA bands using the button with three bars. RT60 uses the powerful and flexible Save Recall system in Audio Tools. You can choose to store files locally, to Dropbox, or to iCloud, which we recommend. Using iCloud, the results can be viewed as soon as they're saved on any other iOS device linked to the same iCloud account. A tab delimited file is automatically created, which includes all of the detail from each test location, as well as the overall results from the average of all of the locations in the room. This has been a demonstration of the Gated Noise RT60 module in Audio Tools by Studio 6 Digital.